Since ancient times, the Japanese have believed that a life force resides in all creations. Valuing and caring for the things we use, a zero-waste life. Pointing the way to better living for a new era. Japanese have long prayed to Buddha and the spirits of their ancestors to watch over their families. And small altars for this purpose, called butsudan, are even found in private homes. They are a representation of heaven. Traditional techniques such as delicate carving, application of gold leaf and lacquer work are used in abundance. As a link to deceased loved ones, the Butsudan is the heart of many Japanese homes. Nakazawa Yukihiro of Nagoya makes and repairs them. やっぱり仏壇ってね、一人ではできないんですよ。本当に職人さんみんな技術を結集して、最初の生地を作る人からそれを今度漆で塗る人、それからまたその漆を塗ったやつに薪を描いたり。The process involves multiple artisans. Nakazawa's particular specialization is a classical technique known as hakuoshi, or foil stamping. Gold leaf, one ten thousandth of a millimeter thick, applied seamlessly to the lacquered surface. Over his 40-year-plus career, he's worked on many such altars. But he's currently faced with a problem. Japanese lifestyles and families have changed, and fewer homes have an altar. Nakazawa is getting more and more requests for altar disposal. ま、
there must be some use for them. This thinking inspired Nakazawa to try something new. Reapplying gold leaf and making modifications to their appearance, he reshapes them into fashion accessories. First, they're carefully washed and polished. Before adding gold leaf, dark brown resin is applied as a base. This helps the gold layer shine even more brightly. One of the many traditional techniques in Nakazawa's toolkit. He uses a special brush to remove excess gold leaf. The gold dust that falls off in the process is also used, filling in any areas that aren't fully covered. These altar ornaments, once set for destruction, are soon to be reborn. Now, with the help of his family, the assembly process begins. Nakazawa's wife Yumi, in order to complement the ornaments that he has delicately gilded, chooses suitable beads. Tiny 5 mm beads. Their daughter, Ikumi, prepares them for application. に<笑>
a finished pair of altar ornament earrings. Although they look heavy, they actually weigh just three grams since the original material was so light. They're made to be gentle on the ears of the wearer. And here's a matching necklace. These traditional hair ornaments called kanzashi are made with wood from the altars. They also repurpose other decorative elements into items like these lacquered brooches. Treasures born of traditional technique and the power of family. Their son Ryusuke, who normally works assembling industrial machine tools, seems to have taken a liking to his father's work. They take the finished accessories to a craft fair. Intricately made items of the finest quality, featuring real gold leaf, they sell for around 150 US dollars. Their brilliance attracts one customer after another. <laughs> They're a hit with those looking for something a bit different. <laughs> Buddhist altars linking families and ancestors. Increasingly discarded they can still have a role to play as cherished accessories. This is Nakazawa's way of thinking. いつもそのネックレスでで供養してるみたいなそういうもんでは残したいなというのは考えてはいます。はい。